Okay, now let's take transmission which involves GIF and fractional part. So there are basically four such transmissions which we have to do, and uh, these are the four. When FX is complete inside GIF, and then you have this kind of something. Then you can also have the similar stuff happening for fractional part in this way. So these are the four famous uh, you can say transformations with regard to your uh, GIF and fractional part. So you can also have another two with of the form GIF y is equal to fx, right? And then you can also have fractional part y is equal to fx, which we generally do not tend to do because otherwise uh, we'll go out of the scope. But yes, we are inclined to do the first four. Let's start with the first one that is this particular property and let's see how you are going to solve this. So the first we are going to do is y is equal to GIF fx. I have written the rules. I'll just quickly walk through the rules and with the help of example, then we will understand how the rule has to be implemented. You obviously draw y equal to fx. Then what you have to do, draw horizontal lines at unit interval. So what do you mean by unit interval is you will have to draw y is equal to k lines where k belongs to integer, right? So for example, y equal to 0, y equal to 1, y equal to minus 1 and so on. From point of intersection, so when you draw these two things, the horizontal line is going to cut fx, right? From that point of intersection, draw vertical line to the lower horizontal line. Project the graph between two vertical lines on the horizontal line and in fact, you can say from to the lower horizontal line. Okay, now I am sure that most of you would not have got what I am talking about. So let's take with the help of an example to understand this particular concept. For example, you want to draw the graph of GIF x square. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to draw, let's say a big, let's try this. Okay, so this is the graph of y equal to x square. Let's say this is zero. Now the next target is to draw horizontal lines. We cannot draw y equal to minus one because that will be futile. There is no need to. So this is y equal to one. Let's take next line y equal to 2, right? This is y equal to 2 line, okay? So I have the first two points are clear that draw y equal to fix, draw horizontal lines. And there is already one line you can say which we have already drawn that is y equal to 0, that is x-axis. Now the third point says from the point of intersection of 1 and 2. So let's say this is the intersection of 1 and 2, that is y equal to fx and the horizontal line. Draw a vertical line to the horizontal line below it. Again, this is a horizontal uh, intersection. Draw a horizontal line or vertical line below. Draw a vertical line below. Right? Below. Like this. And then the last step says project the graph between the two vertical lines on the lower horizontal line. So the final graph would be something like this. Where this line will come here and you will put an open circle towards this side. This open circle here this open circle here so that is what is meant by when you have to project the line on the lower half on here this becomes here this comes here now interestingly let's see what will happen on the left hand side so left hand side also you have this particular point okay let me just uh, draw with the other scale so this is again you draw vertical line vertical line to the lower horizontal line. So this is what you have done. Just now learn this that now since you have to have an open end here, open end will come on the left hand side this time round. Left hand open, close on the right, open. This is the graph. So add a rule, rule for whether it is will be like this or it will be like this. So if the graph is increasing, you will follow this. If the graph is decreasing, then you will follow this. So what do you mean by increasing and decreasing? In this particular region, for x equal to 0, greater than x equal to 0, though, as the value of x is increasing, the value of y is also increasing. That is why the open end will come on the right hand side. If you notice here, the value of y is decreasing, it is coming down. Then you will do the reverse order that open circle will come on the left hand side and this is the graph of y is equal to mod of x square now obviously you should also calculate the point so this is y equal to 1 so when will be the value of uh, y equal to this will be 1 can you tell me yes yeah, so this will be 1 at 1 the next point 
is root 2 this particular point is root 3 and similarly this is minus 1 this point is minus root 2 this point is nothing but minus root 3 I hope the basic of this particular property is clear this sometimes becomes confusing I would suggest that please go through the uh, you know the, uh, the entire video once again to understand what we have done. I am just reiterating the rules very quickly. Uh, draw y equal to fx. Draw horizontal lines from the point of intersection. So let's say this a, b, and c are point of intersection. You have to draw vertical lines to the horizontal line below it. So this is the horizontal line below it. Horizontal line below it. Horizontal line below it. And from this particular point, join till this end, join till this end, join till this end, that means in fact you can say rather than project you can say drop the graph, you can also say drop the graph, graph ko gira do, niche wali line pe gira do, aise samar lo, drop the graph to the line below it, as simple as that, open circle ka hai ka, agar increasing hai, increasing hai kya matlab hai, jaysay jaysay x badh raha hai, vaysay vaysay y ki value badh rahi hai, to aap open circle right pe lagayenge, otherwise open circle will be on the left, got it? So now let's suppose we have to take and draw the graph of y equal to 2 sin x. I have already drawn the graph of y equal to, this is sine wave, but the amplitude is doubled. So now what you can say that you will have two such things happening. This is y equal to one line, right? Then you will have y equal to two line also, right? This is y equal to two line. Similarly, you will have y equal to minus one line also in this case because the amplitude is doubled as simple as that. Okay, so this is y equal to minus one and you will also have something here which will give you y equal to minus two line here. Now, let's see what will happen. Now, your target is we have to draw. Yes. Now, I, I hope this is what you are getting. You have to draw vertical lines from point of intersection. So this is point of intersection, right? Let's draw. And I have told you that you have to draw from point of intersection. You have to draw below the line. So keep this in mind. So this is also a point of intersection. Don't miss this out because this is y equal to zero line. So if they intersect, you draw it till here. Okay. From this point, you will draw it till here, right? This is already two. Then you have this particular point, you will draw below the line. So this is your below line, right? Then you have this, which is below the line. Got it? So this is what we have to do. Now the rule is very simple, very straightforward. Aap kya karenge? Is wale point ko. Ab ye kaise pata chalega? Open or close, humne baat kari thi. Open kab hoga? Jab increase hengi. To yahan dekhi value bad rahi hai vaigi. Upar chalti ja rahi hai. Then is wale graph ko hum kaha karenge? Niche wali line pe shift. To yahan par bhi kya hoga? सिर्फ इस तरीके से ही बनेगा ठीक है ओपन सर्कल इस वाले पे आ जाएगा फिर अगर हम इस इस केस की बात करें इसमें यहां पर आप इसको नीचे पुट करोगे बट दी प्रॉब्लम इज दैट नाउ द ग्राफ इज डिक्रीजिंग क्यों डिक्रीजिंग जैसे जैसे x बढ़ रहा है x कहां बढ़ता है राइट साइड पे जाते हो तो x बढ़ता है बट y की वैल्यू क्या हो रही है नीचे आ रही है सो इट इज डिक्रीजिंग सो अब की बात शेप कैसी दिखेगी कुछ इस तरीके की राइट लेट मी जस्ट रिमूव दिस वाइट लाइन यहां से भी ये व्हाइट लाइन हटा देते हैं तो ज्यादा अच्छा दिखेगा राइट सो ये कुछ ऐसा हो जाएगा सिमिलरली अगले वाले ग्राफ की देखो अगले में क्या हो रहा है ये फिर से डिक्रीजिंग है तो ये क्या होगा यहां पर ओपन और यहां पर क्लोज इस बार सिमिलरली इस वाले में भी यहां पर ओपन यहां पर क्लोज यहां पर ओपन और यहां पर क्लोज ठीक है और अब यहां से क्या हुआ वैल्यू फिर बढ़नी शुरू हो गई तो यहां पर क्या होगा यहां पर इस तरीके से हो जाएगा इट विल ओपन ऑन दी राइट हैंड साइड नाउ ओके दिस इज समथिंग लाइक दिस नाउ बट वी हैव नॉट टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ये इस पॉइंट पे क्या होगा तो एक अलग से ये और आएगा पॉइंट और ये और ठीक है तो ये पूरा ग्राफ है वाई इक्वल टू मॉडुलस टू साइन एक्स का इसमें इंपॉर्टेंट क्या है कि आपको ये पॉइंट्स भी बताने हैं भाई ये डोंट मिस आउट दिस दैट व्हाट इज दिस पॉइंट सो ये कैसे निकलेगा 2 sin x 1 कब होता है ये कैलकुलेट कर लो ठीक है ये हमें पता है कब होगा पाई बाय सिक्स सो दिस पॉइंट इज पाई बाय सिक्स दिस पॉइंट इज नथिंग बट पाई बाय टू तो ये वाला पॉइंट क्या होगा ये सिमेट्री से निकाल सकते हो अगर ये पाई बाय सिक्स इधर था तो ये पाई में से पाई माइनस सिक्स कर दो सो पाई पाई सिक्स इधर था तो राइट हैंड साइड पे भी क्या आएगा पाई बाय सिक्स से ही 
पीछे होगा दैट इज इट सिमिलरली अगला पॉइंट क्या होगा बता सकते हो अगला पॉइंट भी बहुत सिंपल है अगला पॉइंट क्या करना है इसमें पाए में पाई बाय सिक्स एड कर दो तो जो ये वाला पॉइंट आएगा ये किस पे आएगा ये आएगा सेवन पाए बाय सिक्स ठीक है ये तो आपका क्या पॉइंट था थ्री पाए बाय टू ये वाला पॉइंट में पता ही है टू पाई अब टू पाई में से पाई बाय सिक्स सब ट्राई कर दो तो ये वाला पॉइंट क्या है इलेवन पाई बाय सिक्स तो दिस इज हाउ द ग्राफ ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन वुड बी मेड ओके